Hello friends. Today we are going to read Are you a fish? The author is Shabnam Minwala. The illustrator is Adrija Ghosh and the publisher is Pratham Books. So let's read Are you a fish? There are strange new fish swimming in the sea. They look and behave like ordinary fish, but they are made of metal and foam, cloth and plastic. So it looks like this book is talking about new kinds of fish in the sea. They are not ordinary fish because they are made of material, man-made material like metal, foam, cloth and plastic. Let's see more about what these fish are. Pop, pop. So you can see what this is. This is one example of that kind of fish and it's making some weird sounds. It looks not like, I mean, it looks like a fish, but it's not really a fish. Let's read more. Robo tuna swims far and fast like other tuna fish. It is also a policeman underwater. It chases smugglers and pirates at sea. So what is that fish? It is called Robo tuna. Tuna fish is a big type of fish and this particular fish is called robo tuna because it is also a policeman under the water. It's, it's chasing, secretly chasing thieves, smugglers, pirates, those kinds of thieves that are in the, that are working in the sea. So here you can see another type of this fish, which is not fish, and it's also making some metallic noises. Let's read more about it. Sophie is a soft robot with fins and a tail. It takes videos of life deep inside the ocean. The fish are not afraid. They swim with Sophie. So Sophie is also a type of fish that is not a fish. It's really a robot. It looks just like a fish. And so the fish are not afraid of it. They are able to go near it and swim with it. And so it's able to take video of all of these creatures that are deep inside the ocean. If you and I cannot swim that deep, how would we see these creatures? This is this robot is doing our job for us. See, this one is also something that is not a real fish. It looks like these creatures called jellyfish. Let's read about it. Jellyfish robot is made of gel. It catches fish with its soft, transparent tentacles. It swims around without being seen. So this is a jellyfish robot. A jellyfish is a type of creature in the sea that has these tentacles, they are this, these limbs, can you see? Those are um, what jellyfish have. And this robot looks just like a jellyfish, except it is made of gel. Have you seen jelly? So the jelly is also made out of gel. And because of that, it is very transparent. You cannot see it. And it swims around without being seen and it catches fish. Robot eel has a long black body and red eyes. 
one day it might live on the sea floor it might fix broken pipes and machines under water so this is a robot eel an eel is a type of sea creature that looks like a snake it is long and thin and the robot eel looks like an eel it has this long black body and red eyes and one day this robot eel might be put on the sea floor to do what it can fix things that are broken under the water so when when something breaks on a ship you have to bring the ship to the land to fix it no because you can't do any repair work in in the water but this robot eel can do it in the water itself and what is this does it look a little bit like an octopus let's see octobot looks like a small octopus one day it could search for people lost at sea it might even kill germs in the water so this particular type of robot is called octobot and it looks like an octopus an octopus is a type of sea creature that has eight arms arms and legs and an octobot could possibly search for people that are lost in the water it can do several things we don't know yet what it is going to be used for but it looks like an octopus so other sea creatures around it will not be afraid of it and here you can see all of these different robots you can see see here octobot right and the jellybot and the other robots that look like fish one day the strange new fish will swim far and deep they will show us the secrets of the sea so these robots they are looking like fish so they they can and if they can go swimming really deep right then the fish won't be scared of it because they look like fish and so they can be our spies under the water so let's read a little bit more about this type of robot a bot is a computer program or little machine that can perform simple repetitive tasks so if you think of a little machine that can do something again and again that is repetitive um that would be a bot it could also be a computer program not just a machine so for example let us say that you need to clean your shoes every morning before going to school so instead of you doing that yourself let's say you had a machine to do that all you need to do is set the time when it needs to clean it and then at that time every day it, the machine turns itself on and cleans your shoes so that when you want to go to school it's ready for you wouldn't that be cool something like that would be a bot another such example could be a computer program let's say there is one that has a different sound every time there is an email from some special people like your best friend or someone so that is also an example of a bot and it does the same thing again and again so that you don't have to do it yourself and so examples of bots are the robotuna the one that is a it's a it's a it's the robot that catches thieves and smugglers in the sea sophie that goes around swimming and taking video of creatures deep in the ocean 
the jellyfish robot that may be able to catch fish because it is transparent and cannot be seen. The robot eel that could be used to repair things in, inside the sea itself. And Octobot that could be used to find missing people. I hope you enjoyed this story. Thank you. The difficult words in this story are smuggler, a thief who secretly carries things into or out of a country. Pirate, someone who robs ships in the sea. Tentacles, long thin body parts that stick out of the mouth of a creature used to hold things. Gel, a material like jelly. Bot, a small machine or computer program that does the same thing again and again. Jellyfish, a type of sea animal with umbrella shaped bodies and tentacles. Eel, a type of fish that is long and thin like a snake. Octopus, a type of sea animal with eight tentacles. Robotuna, a type of robot that looks like a fish and swims in the ocean and can be used to catch thieves. Try these questions. Think of other sea creatures like fish and eels. What can they do well that could help us? Imagine and design a robot that is inspired from one of these creatures. Write about your idea and discuss with your class.